reminding everyone of those safety precautions to keep the public healthy. Dick Anderson is Fulton CEO. Sir, welcome back to Fulton today. Hi, Shania. Glad to be with you. Well, there has been an uptick in the state. How concerned are you about that? Well, we have seen an uptick in COVID-19 cases, and we are concerned about that. You know, part of it is tied to Memorial Day weekend. Part of it may be tied to some of the protest efforts. And I think certainly it is tied to reopening. So I think what that says to all of us is social distancing, mask, uh, hand sanitation are critical, uh, particularly during this period, because I think it felt like uh, perhaps that we were into the summer months and suddenly this was going to uh, simply go away. And clearly the rising cases in Georgia, but also neighboring states like Texas, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, are all good indicators that the virus is still very active. So again, those simple steps are clearly ones that on a personal level we can take. We are also continuing to look at our healthcare system capacity. The good news there is uh, we still look like we have ample capacity, both in terms of bed, ICU units, and ventilators. But notwithstanding that, the virus has not gone away and the case rise is concerning at this point in time. And how has Fulton continued to offer testing and how long do you anticipate testing will be ongoing? So again, testing has been our strength, as I've said before. In fact, uh, just recently we did over 3,200 tests in a single day. That was our high point. And we anticipate continuing to do testing through the end of the year. So we've presented a plan that uh, allocates about $20 million to that effort. Atlanta has just announced uh, their budget, and I think they're dedicating $8 million uh, in additional testing, which will be, we believe, part of our plan. So that joint effort in Fulton County should uh, take us well down the path, and I think it's very necessary because as folks begin to come back to work, many employers are requiring their employees to be tested, as we are. Also, kids going to camp are finding that they need to be tested. While no school has announced it, it wouldn't surprise me that some schools will require testing. And then again, just for your own peace of mind and the safety of your friends, your family, your neighbors, I think being tested is the right, uh, right thing to do. So we'll continue to test both in our fixed locations, as we talked about before, which are at uh, 4700 North Point, here on the boulevard in uh, downtown Atlanta, and then at Wolf Creek Amphitheater, but many mobile sites, which have been hugely successful for us. We just did one in the past week that was over 600 people tested at one single church. So you can get a feel for how significant testing is and how uh, critical it is to be able to not only test to find out if you're positive, but also, also then do contact tracing to see if there's been any contact uh, in an immediate sense whereby intervention would help uh, contain the virus. Sir, what safety protocols is the county taking at its facilities? So one of the things that we've operated on from day one is a safety first approach. So our protocols have included extensive renovation work to our buildings to ensure safety. So that includes uh, sneeze guards, barriers between positions, uh, markings on the floor to keep folks uh, six feet apart. Uh, but we've also done extensive cleaning. Some of that cleaning has actually been preemptive, meaning we put a, a barrier guard on our facilities that protects for 14 days for any uh, occasion of the virus. Then subsequent to that, if there has been an employee that has tested positive, we go in and do a subsequent cleaning then. So I think all of those protocols have certainly helped us. Uh, in addition to that, though, of course, we communicate uh, in many ways with our citizens in a digital virtual format. So that protocol perhaps is the ultimate protocol, which is keeping folks safe by not uh, asking them to come to our facilities unnecessarily, but rather delivering our for, uh, services on a digital basis. And sir, your final thoughts? So I think our final thought is, is simply to stay safe. Again, that, that sounds trite and it sounds simple, but it truly is such a personal responsibility, along with everything that governments are doing, businesses are doing, uh, our healthcare system is doing still on a personal basis. If you're going out, wear a mask. Uh, if you're around others, stay six feet apart. Those things are still good rules to follow and we would ask you to continue to do so. Fulton County Manager Dick Anderson, thanks so much for the update and again, thank you for your time. 
Again, thank you, Shania, and thank you for having me. Our pleasure, sir. Now, to get a list of Fulton's Board of Health testing sites, visit the county's website and social platforms.